Welcome to a ZDI exploit demonstration overview. This video covers a remote code execution bug on a TP-Link TL-WR841N wireless router. We begin by showing the build version and IP address of the router from the admin page. Next, we show the IP address of the router from the serial terminal. We start a netcat listener and wait for our reverse shell. The buffer overflow exploit takes almost no time to run. With that successful overflow, we get a limited shell on the router. We are able to show the running Linux version by catting the proc files. The shell also allows us to show the IP address information. We then change directories to var temp, a writable location on the router. We can then download BusyBox, a versatile utility package for embedded Linux, by connecting to a TFTP server we control. With the transfer complete, we add executable permissions to the BusyBox utility. This utility allows us to determine which user is currently logged on to the router. 